backstage at BravoCon 2023 in Las Vegas. I, I gotta be honest, this might be the biggest crowd ever. I mean, this is so excited. I'm so excited for this panel. It is about to get shady. It might get a little reasonable, but we're gonna read here today. Please check out all the action going down this entire weekend on Peacock, BravoTV.com, all of our Bravo socials. You don't wanna miss a thing. All right, I'm Darren Karp, obviously, and I'm about to host what could actually be a master level class in the art of throwing shade. <laughs> Clapping back and giving some, not just side boo, but side eye, which is very important. Please welcome to the stage some of Bravo's best shade throwers in the game. We've got Kenya Moore from The Real yes! Housewives of Atlanta. Yes! Yes! <laughs> She's giving them Lala. We got Lala Kent from Vanderpump Rules. Not today, Shades. We got Candace Dillard Bassett from The Real Housewives of Potomac. And of course, she is my favorite fashionista from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We've got Sutton Strack. And her husband may or may not be in the pool at any given point in time, or she's pushing someone in the pool from The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Margaret Josephs. Well, ladies, you all look absolutely stunning today. I mean, this is going to be, you guys you. are the queens of queens of everything. Day two of BravoCon, Surpri most surprising thing you've seen so far, Kenya Moore. Oh, Andy singing. Oh. And this happened last singing. night at the Bravo. Yes, that is, was a lot of fun. Were you impressed? Um, I can't necessarily, this is going to be shady, right? This is going to be shady. Well, I was impressed that he had the nerve to do it. Oh. <laughs> Would you let him dance in your marching band that you bring everywhere? He, he, can, he can carry the flag. Yeah, he can carry yeah, the flag. Yeah. Lala, give me something most surprising. You had a little moment with Captain Jason. Couple. Um... Oh, just, I'm hearing things. I'm just hearing things. I'm just, Ooh, I, I'm... Lala did. I'm hearing Lala, Captain Lala. Lala. Too. Yeah, I, mean, I like what I'm hearing, and she's I think a single I girl. Yeah. Most oh, surprising, I? though, was that I, I won an award. Oh, yeah. I am more age appropriate. Wow! Yes. Wow! Thank you. Back off. Who? Back I'm looking off. for a stepdaddy for and my Marcel baby. Too. You better back off. Not fighting over the man, child. What is going on? They don't call this the reading room for nothing. I mean, yes. I say one comment and it goes wild. <laughs> Margaret, how was day, day two of BravoCon for you? What's going on? What's been the most surprising thing? Uh, the most surprising thing is that Chanel Ion won for the chicest. Uh... <laughs> oh. Listen, listen, I thought Sutton should have won. Uh oh. Uh, to me, Sutton's the chicest. I mean, Fair. I mean, that's debatable. Uh, I mean, uh, I'll I'll take it back. I mean, the I mean, all, of the pe all of the people in the category, except for one, probably should have won. Yeah. So Listen, we just have to if you're going to lose, yeah, I'm going to lose yeah. anybody. Won. That was my. That's just my opinion. If I was going to lose anybody, Chanel. No, okay, I'm, yeah, that's I'm fair. Sorry. You're happy to do that. I'll say know. this. I think she wanted it the most. Yeah, yeah she yes. wanted it the most. She yes. was the thirstiest she wanted it. We agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll all see. right. Well, I mean, as we all know, BravoCon happens here, but it also happens outside. Weird <laughs> happens all the time. Sorry to curse. Candace, what's the weirdest thing you've yes. seen at BravoCon this year? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, oh, probably the, the two broke girls, podcast girls. Yeah. I, Probably them together being broke. Oh, <laughs> yes. You know, being broke. It's just why she wears the shades for a reason, people. Great. Are you talking about your castmates? Who, who else? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, oh. The, but you guys the, aren't the getting paid, favorite girls. nations. You what, guys what? aren't getting paid the same. Uh, oh, oh. I'm just asking. They, well, they've ah. been here longer. They may be getting paid more than me, but they're not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, they're not I don't even need to host this. I can just throw up a question, and these ladies are going to take it. They're going to read them to filth. Um, Sutton, what is the number one thing? What is the number one thing fans say to you when they see you on the street or at BravoCon? What's your number one thing? Oh yeah, this is kind of it's sweet. That um, a chump. I'm a chump. Um, that oh, you're so tiny, or you're so much prettier in person. I, that is one, this a compliment? I, I know yeah, that's I'm a like, compliment. Thank you. Yes. Everyone says that? Is, do we like Everyone that? Everyone says that. And Wait. it's not a compliment. <laughs> yes. Stop You're so much smaller. It. You look so skinny. It's like, bitch, I'm skinny all the time. What but, are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Yes. But it's like 
you guys look great on camera. No. Margaret, what's the number thing? Husband in the pool? No, they say your husband's in the pool. Or you're, they do say you're so much prettier or you look so much younger. I'm like, I, I, I'm two facelifts in. I hope so. I mean, I'm like, yeah. I mean, God, you know. They read themselves, people. They read themselves. Um, Lala, what do people say to you? No, like, what's the number one thing? I mean, this they, last year at Vanderpump Rules, you must right. get so much stuff. No, they tell me I'm a bad bitch, and I say, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you ladies gamble? Are we, are we gambling? No. I don't I'm gamble. I'm parting with a penny, honey. Yeah. I work too hard to part with a penny. Plus, I got legal bills to pay. Yeah, I you got, yeah, she's got. got gambling. <laughs> I gamble. Sutton, Margaret? No, I'm divorced, so I already gambled on marriage and lost. Okay, <sighs> no. Margaret? You didn't get a pretty yes, big I settlement, gamble. though, I so you didn't lose too much. You and yeah, we saw, oh, yeah, we saw, yeah, yeah, we saw your settlement. We saw your settlement. This you is why we have any more here. We saw part of it. We saw part of it. You can afford to gamble. You can afford to gamble. Part of it. All right, well, I mean, this is kind of the perfect segue into the art of shade. I just kind of want to know how you guys do what you do. Kenya, you're a self-proclaimed shade assassin, as we have seen on this panel in five minutes. Do you... Do the rest of you feel like you're a shade assassin as well? Like, is it an honor or a diss to be a shade assassin? Is it an honor or a diss? It's an honor. I would, yes. It, it means leave me alone. Yes, don't bother me. It, don't, don't touch me. Don't mess well, with me. I think to throw really good shade, you have to be quick-witted. Yep. You, you have, have to, to be, be smart. intelligent. Yep. Well-read. And you have to be observant. Yes. And intuitive, like you have to be a lot of but things. I don't. So I, I think don't. It's a compliment. Think it is a huge compliment, but I also feel like it's God given. Like you can't. Yes. Right. Teach, you can't, can't teach learn it. You can't. Teach it. Teach no, you're dead. Yes. You're just it. Yes. You're, you're born with it. Yes. Like yes. when people ask me, teach me how to read, baby. You got to read a book. I can't. I yeah. can't help you with that. <laughs> yeah. See, okay, that was a read. See, I didn't okay, but do here's that. your yes. thing. If you are a shade assassin, that also means you have to take the shade. You can take yes. the shade. Yes. You have to be able to take it and give it at the same time. Yes. Uh, not many people yes. are good at giving shade, though, because we're so good that, like, the second they say something, I'm five steps ahead of you. I'm Obliteration. Back, back, yeah, I'm back, coming back. 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 Yeah. I want to talk about clap your clapbacks. You've all had infamous clapbacks. Sutton, what do you think your best clapback was on camera to date? I'm sure the audience is going to... Everyone's yelling pants. out insults. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> I, I wasn't too happy with her that day. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. The leather pants day. Oh, the leather pants. <laughs> and They're they infamous. were ugly. <laughs> Margaret, what do you think your, I mean, your jersey strong. What do you think your best clap bag has been in The Real Housewives? I mean, it could have been about the Jennifer Aiden's lip liner. Yeah. That could have made your lips look like a monkey's asshole. But that just came so natural, you know, her lip liner. You didn't that even need to think bad. about it. Right. You yeah, that was, a, that was a rough one. I just have a question. Yes. How do you know what a monkey's asshole looks like? I mean, I know. I, the baboon, when it bends over, yeah. you know? It just, like, with the way she was sticking it in my face that day, it was so, that's the only thing that came to my mind that second. Now, Candace, you have a plethora of clapbacks to choose from, from Twitter, from the show. You are the queen of the Twitter. What do you think your best clapback has been on the show? Twitter is my stomping ground. Shout out to Twitter. Yeah. Um, there are so many. I, so, okay. Probably the most recent would be that Cookie Monster character. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, she really did. She looks like a Sesame Street character. That, I, that was not me trying to read. But if you're going to come for me, you need to be together. Because if, if I find it, I'm going to get it. And it was easy to find with her. Yeah, it was easy. We do appreciate the neck. You know, we do appreciate, you know. Again. And Gollum, that was a easy, good one, too. Those are easy reads, Yeah, though. those are, you, know, they, you want a hard read. They're walking around asking for it, yes. <laughs> now, Lala, you're up for a big award at the Bravos, which you haven't seen, I don't want to spoil Ooh. anything, but uh, what do you think your best clapback has been on what Vanderpump? Do, what do you guys think it is? I think it's the Bambi-eyed bitch. Bambi-eyed bitch. Yeah. Bambi-eyed bitch. It just flew out of my She's mouth. She's a bib. She's a bib. She's a Bambi-eyed bitch. She's a bandied eyed Bambi-eyed bitch. Kenya, many to choose from, many seasons to choose from. What is your favorite? You know, my favorite? I don't know. Let's say, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 do, I do really like, don't come for me unless I sin for, for you. you. I mean, it's, it's global. And I know it's this global. isn't a clapback, but like, 
sometimes I go to sleep and I'll turn over to my girlfriend and I'll be like, can you more hair care? <laughs> just out of nowhere. And I can't, that was one like of my favorite ones. It's my favorite one. It just gets no, stuck in your head. No, every time I see her, that's how I say hi. No, it's true. Uh, everywhere I go, song. they break out in, in song. Well, obviously, you know,